everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Lego just released a brand new set. This is the first of these types of videos. These videos are going to be, I have the recap and thoughts right now of that series, which I haven't done in a while, but I am going to start a new one soon. Um, it's running a bit late, but these are going to be for a lot more just like quick videos, you know, just real quick, looking at it, recapping it, kind of just when stuff shadow drops like this, you know, we knew this wouldn't be announced. So let's dive straight into it. Lego released the lego ideas of the office set this is a set i think um even before lego friends had either of its sets way before that probably around the time big bang theory got set a lot of people have wanted this set so this set is jam-packed we're gonna look at every single detail if we can um i think we'll just start every okay let's just start kind of where you would enter you know where you would enter office so first up we obviously have the dunder mifflin paper company right here and we got michael scott we'll probably look at the characters later but i think his likeness is captured very well there then we have a simple door and the glass the glass looks like it is a tall one of those one by um i think that's one by five pieces of just pure clear glass now I've been entering here, this is where it gets super crowded. You can't see a lot of this right here, but um, we're gonna look at this. This is supposed to be recreating when Kevin spills his chili. Um, and you can kind of see behind it, there is a couch. This couch looks like it can hold two people, which is good because I think there's multiple scenes where people are like laying down on that couch, which is kind of weird that there's so many scenes of that. There's another chair here, which I don't think this was always here. I think. Um, I remember certain times in seasons where it wasn't here, and certain times I think it was there. There's a simple plant and a simple little desk. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. Yes, I'm trying to find a better shot, but I think I can see what I want to see, which is Pam's little picture that she painted of the office. I don't think we'll be able to see that until we actually get this set. Let's go to a reception area since we can see that. There is a, um... A coat rack right here with an umbrella and a bag there's a pink bag down there you know some simple pieces up here at reception um looks like behind there there's a phone like an actual classic office phone there's a little bowl for candy there's a reception the little pedestal that's a sticker right there can't see what's on this computer screen there is a hmm, there's a mug right there like a classic coffee mug that's probably not supposed to be the mug Jim gives there. Even though right here, Jim is holding a letter. That mug is white. It's not clear. There's a lot of stuff on the back. Um, certificate of author authorization, I think. There is a award right there. Dunder Mifflin thing. Those all look like prints except for... I uh, know a few of those aren't prints, actually. Really can't see a lot of this. And we have a copier, a brick-built copier on the left. That looks nice can't really show too much more of that right now. In the back, right behind uh, Pam, right behind the chair, I'll probably have it right here if I can see if there's a, some sort of a scenery there, like a painting of a scenery. I don't really know what that is though. So I'm kind of just struggling here to get proper pictures. So we might just need to dive into this and, you know, try to get pictures. Of course, I'm going to plan on getting this set. So I will have a lot more available then, but real quick, um, here's Jim Halpert, uh, his little desk, um, basic keyboard, basic mouse, um, basic phone right there. There's a lamp, and that looks like it's printed on for that piece right there from a computer, which is nice. Trying to get a better picture of the office, the actual office area. But, you know, there is a brick-built plant right there. There's obviously the stapler in Jello which is cool. A lot of different brick built books on this bookcase next to Dwight. Dwight's office looks like it's the same, or his uh, desk looks like it's the same as uh, Jim's, but it doesn't have, or it does have a mug on there, which is interesting. Now see, this is an interesting part of the set. There isn't actually accounting or either of the places where Creed and Meredith worked um, and who else worked there? I don't really remember. And obviously not the new office that came later on where Daryl went. Um, I think we all expected the annex not to be here, but I don't think, I kind of thought we would get all the accounting area, but I guess this probably is a better display option. But over here for accounting, we do have 
their actual um, shelves here and stuff. It's, it's piled up very much so, and I think it's supposed to look a little sloppy and messy. Over here by Daryl and um, Andy and Phyllis's office clump, desk clump, um, pretty simple across there. I think, I think that Stanley's computer is actually replaced with, like, some, like, a two-by-two -two panel, which is supposed to represent when they, like, when Stanley doesn't realize anything. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, but it kind of looks like it. I don't know if that two-by-two -two panel is right there. Probably is a picture, there's probably a picture up on the wall of Stanley's daughter or something like that up there, so we should see. Dwight has, um, carrots on his computer. We can see a little bit here of there is a fire in a bucket, which is from when Dwight, um, tried to burn down. Well, not really tried to burn down, but tried to put the building on fire a little bit so that other people would actually learn the fire drill. Even though it didn't take place right there, I believe it took place in, like, a side room or something, but... Looks very nice right there. Yeah, see, I'm sure there's a lot more stuff. It, I thought I found a picture where you can make it look like Pam's also working at the desk club. Never mind, it was just, uh, she was working at reception. That was just a difference there. I saw there is a little black, um, or I think this is brown doll on Dwight's desk. Um, not sure what that is, not sure. Let's dive real quick into the, um, I think I'm gonna do a conference room first. So there's right now, it's the, uh, the pyramid, you know, where he has the pyramid scheme, that's funny, with a little purple pin. There's, I think, only six seats there, which, of course, there's, like, 20 seats in the actual thing, but that would be way too many Lego seats. Um, the DVD, it has a little screen where, you know, the DVD bounces back and forth, so that's cool. Looks like there's also a purple picture on the wall, um, like a purple painting. I don't quite know if that is. And let's jump into Michael's room, if we can, his little office. So there's a ton of stuff in Michael's office, of course. He has a basic computer setup, everybody does. And it looks like his phone is different than most people's. It looks like it says Jan on it, which I don't know what that I know who Jan is. I wonder if I was on there for some reason. Pam has a little drawing of a banana. Um, which I remember that. There's a golden ticket for the Dunder Mifflin where they put that in multiple boxes and kind of ruin it up. Or actually, I think they put it all in one box at the same place. Yeah. Uh, that's a Mif Dunder Mifflin right- or a Dundee, sorry, a Dundee right there. I haven't seen the office in a while. There's two seats in- actually, there's three seats, so that's accurate. That's good. There's a little globe. There's a plant. Um, I can't quite see what's on the wall right there. Um, I know in the back there's another certificate, but then there's also the American Eagle, you know, so that's cool. Uh, I can't see quite what else is in there. Yeah, like I said, it's it's hard to see everything involved in this set. I know I can see there's a couple things on Michael's wall that I just can't see right now, but let's get into the minifigures, which I think easily is the best part about this set. It's really cool. So we're going to go through just um, everyone. There's a ton. First up, this is Daryl over here. He has a Terry's Diner takeout menu. Um, actually, I don't remember that scene. At Terry's Diner sounds from did he work? Yeah, his wife was Terry. No way, that was Stanley's wife was Terry. Not Daryl's. Actually, I don't know what Terry's Diner is there. It's not from where, like, there's two different pizza places and um, one of them's apparently really bad, even though they have similar names. It's not that, so I'm not sure. He has a warehouse, um, a warehouse shirt, and you can barely see his name on there, so you might be able to, if you get multiple of these sets, you might be able to have a full warehouse crew, you know, you'll probably need to get faces from, um, other sets. We also have Phyllis right here, now it kind of looks like Phyllis has part of a wand, but I know it's not a wand, it cuts off, but quite know what that is it's supposed to be a sewing needle i'm gonna try to see if i can see the another picture okay it kind of looks like it's a mini wand from harry potter but just not correctly taken off for some reason like if you you know you get those in the set and then you have to take them off actually from that thing so that's interesting then we have ryan right here which i don't uh for daryl and phyllis i think it kind of looks like them phyllis maybe looks a little young and boyish for there but this doesn't look like ryan much at all honestly 
Um, I think this is supposed to be the earlier seasons, but then a few of the later season characters. But I honestly would have, I honestly would have preferred like a, a Wolf Ryan. But I mean, it's okay. His face looks too tough for me. Obviously, has a phone. Kelly kind of looks like Kelly. I'm not sure. Her hair looks like her for sure. Her face doesn't really look like her very much. We have Andy who doesn't, this doesn't look like Andy at all. Okay, there's actually a reason that um, this doesn't look like Andy at all. It's my bad. This actually isn't even Andy. It is, um, it is Toby, which makes a lot more sense because Andy would be a lot more colorful kind of clothes, um, you know, pinks and Easter colors, but this is Toby, which actually makes sense. Very plain khaki basic stuff so i can definitely see this and um hairstyle is pretty good as well i think the camera is because he took the picture one time or something like like in the cast picture he took it i, I don't really know but yeah sorry about that it's not andy it is um toby we have pam and jim now this is the like original pam and jim like the season two pam and jim season three a really popular one their hairs are good i think Pam's hair becomes more red later on in the seasons, so I think they're good right now. Good blouse for Pam, good, you know, shirt. That definitely reminds me of her in the earlier seasons, and Jim definitely, they caught his likeness very well. But I didn't realize this, there actually is the green um, teapot. I thought the teapot was more like a white, but maybe it's a green, I'm not sure. So yeah, in case you didn't notice that. Michael Scott really looks like Michael right here. World's Best Boss mug, very nice. Um, definitely spot on with that one. Here's Dwight, also spot on. His hair, we all knew he was, we all knew they were gonna use the Flitwick hair from Harry Potter. Very nice, very nice um, mustard colored um, shirt as well. So that, that's amazing. Uh, great sideburns on the face as well. Angela, um, this is kind of weird. They use the same pants for everybody. You know, like the same height, but for Angela, I would have used those Harry Potter half leg pants, or I might even have used the just original short pants, you know, the, the really short ones that were used for kids, but I would have at least used a half, half legs, but they didn't use that, they used full legs for some reason. I'll probably switch that out, I'm sure I have half legs I can easily switch, I'll probably just switch it with her, I think it's kind of weird to have her same height as everyone else. She comes with one kitten. Obviously, she has like 10. I don't even remember the number, but she comes with one. And there's a little kitten pen on her on her jacket, her little vest. So that's cool. I, I think it kind of looks like her. I don't know. Oscar, this one really looks like Oscar. His face could have been better, but it really looks like him. He comes with a calculator and the purple shirt. I guess I didn't realize how much that outfit looks like Oscar, in my opinion. Kevin, this is a great Kevin. Definitely looks like Kevin for sure. Um, his his jacket going over his shirt, but like kind of sloppy. His tie, I think that's crooked. I don't think it's fully aligned. Very nice. Um, they give him the double chin. It looks like Kevin very much, so that's nice. Now this is Stanley, and this doesn't look much like Stanley at all. Yeah, I looked up Stanley from the office. I know what he looks like, but this doesn't look like him. The hair is weird. It, I'm sure there's better pieces they could have used. Um, I w would have used Kevin's hair, but Kevin's using it, so I wouldn't have. Now, Oscar's probably wouldn't have fit. None of these on here really would have fit. Um, oh, but he's using the same hair as Andy. Yeah, I don't think either of them really fit that one. Maybe Andy does a little bit, but yeah, this one just looks way too big for Stanley. Uh, his grumpy looks good, but it almost looks a little cartoonish. Yeah, not the best one, honestly. Meredith, um, she looks good here. I, I can, I can go with, oops, sorry, sorry. Um, I can go with this. This is okay, yeah. The sweater's okay, yeah. Here's okay. And then Creed. <laughs> Creed is really good. Yeah. <laughs> His face looks good too. It make, makes him look like Creed quite a bit. Let me go through a couple of the accessories I totally missed out on on the first time. Um, Stanley comes with a pretzel and a, uh, what's it called? A crossword puzzle. Meredith comes with a bat. I'm gonna watch the video to see if I missed anything. 
Uh, oh, in Michael Scott's office, there is a map. Here, let me go back real quick. There is quite a lot in his office. I didn't get the first time. There is a coat hanger in the back. There is, which I saw, but it's made out of... Let me just pause it. What's that made out of? Looks like it's made out of a plant. There is a white ball on his office for some reason to the left. And it looks like there's a map right there. Yeah. Still don't quite understand what all this stuff in his office is, but that's cool. And it looks like there's like a small train or car on Stanley's for some reason. Oh, um, Creed has like little yellow stuff. I remember that. That was like the weird old man smell he had. Uh, Kevin has a chili. What does Dwight have right there? He has like some kind of tech piece. This might be from Christmas when Michael got him like the nutcracker. Jim has a wedding ring. That's nice. That's nice. It looks like it's on two base plates. Probably to give it a nice stability. Oh, something I didn't talk about earlier. There is. Let me get through it. There is a hole in the wall using just a simple, you know, two by one that has a hole in it uh, to represent where Andy hit. That's cool. There, above that vent is like a plaque or something. I was there. That's cool if there's a hole. It looks like the wind, no, the windows aren't broken from when Jim threw a snowball at Dwight. It's just the crookedness of it. Yeah, this is a wonderful set. Um, there is so much here. It has, I personally think this is the best TV show one they did so far. Yeah, this set definitely, they hit it on the spot. How many mini figures does it have? It has, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 minifigures, I think. Yeah, 15. And they're, they're obviously missing a few. Um, They're missing Toby. They're missing Aaron. Um, Aaron and Toby are really the two big ones they're missing, but I think those are both fine. Because Toby wasn't really in every episode, and Aaron... um came later you can definitely make those i'm sure people have videos on how to make them real quick um it's obviously missing like um jan the girl from saber i forgot her name my word i for totally forgot the girl from saber joe joe gabe um the two guys who came in at the end are like jim and dwight yeah it's missing a lot of people but this is really the core team right here so i definitely like it it's gonna be 120 bucks in america um, I probably should have what prices it'll be, um, somewhere else. Uh, yeah, but it'll be 120 bucks in America, and it comes out October 1st, 2022. I am pumped for this set. Oh, another thing. Kelly has, like, a happy birthday Kelly thing. I don't know if that's, like, a cake or what, so that looks cool. I'm sure these Dunder Mifflin pieces will be big. Oh, okay. I have no idea what that white, red black yellow and blue thing is at all uh there's no smoking there's a fire extinguisher oh there's a piece um yeah it's jam-packed there's a ton of stuff i think andy even has two monitors from when he actually got two monitors because pam gave him one a crazy set there is just so much stuff in here i'm so excited though i'm definitely going to be getting this set probably will do some sort of video on it i'm so excited Thank you all for watching. Tell me down below if you're going to get this set and if you're excited for it. Also, which TV show do you think we'll get next if we do get one? I'm not sure what we will get. We got, oh, we got Seinfeld. I totally forgot about that. Didn't watch that, so I didn't get it. Um, I'd love a Parks and Rec one. Honestly, I love Parks and Rec. That's probably my favorite comedy. I do think it's part of the office. Maybe an unpopular opinion. Thank you all for watching. Please have a great day. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Bye.